Your forecast coming up. The Austin Film Festival starts this week, and we're learning more about one of the films with Austin ties. The Other Fellow is a documentary about the lives of men around the world who have the illustrious name James Bond, or should I say Bond? James Bond. I've been dying to do that. You know this, right? All week long. Well, joining us live in studio is Matt Bauer, the director of The Other Fellow. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to be here, Britt. Yeah, the characters in my film hate hearing that line. Oh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> but, but I'm cheesy like that. And yes. I happen to be a big fan. We know you just flew in from London, and this has been really a 10-year experience for you trying to put this film together. You know, I'd like to know, tell us a little bit about why this iconic character, James Bond? Why try to find people with this name and put it in a film? Well, I was always a James Bond fan, and what happened was I went just on Facebook and I typed in James Bond <laughs> in the search area. And the funny thing straight away is that no one came up. And as I found out, it's because you actually can't join Facebook if your name is James Bond. It kind of bans you. And so from the first second, I kind of went, in this like digital identity world, this mm -hmm. is a huge problem. And when I did finally find them, you know, all my characters on Facebook are Jimmy Bond or JB Bond or some variation. They came back with these stories which were far more than Aston Martin jokes and shaken not stirred <laughs> and Bond James Bond jokes, but actually stuff that had a lot of real depth and emotion and sometimes some real trauma as well. Really? Yeah. Connected to the name? Connected to the name, yeah. These guys go through a lot. I mean, James Bond is, you know, almost the most famous alpha male in the world. And mm -hmm. I think as a real man, constantly being compared to that oh. every day of your life, it can be very difficult. Psychologically, it has to be yeah. daunting. We want to talk about this Austin connection because yes. you found people with this name through your search and you found an entire family of men devoted to this name. So tell us about them. Well, we found one James Bond here in Austin, Texas. And as we were talking to him, we said, oh, just by the way, my father, my grandfather <laughs> and my son are also named James Bond. Wow. And of course we went, hang on a second, how does this work? And it turns out they're a family whose family tradition is naming the first of each new generation James. Um, and they started this far before the films. And of course, once the films came out, they had to say, do we keep going? And of course they said, you know, to hell with it. We're gonna keep going with it, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. And are they here in Austin or did you find them in the Austin area? They're in the Austin area, yeah. They're, off, they're in sort of little towns dotted around, uh -huh. uh, dotted around here, but they're all quite nearby and so they're all coming to the premiere tomorrow night, which would be awesome. Oh, that's so fantastic. You know, you mentioned this block on Facebook trying to find the names. I'm curious, how did you find people with the name ultimately? And where are they around the world besides Austin, Texas? Well, they were, they were quite hard to find. I mean, you can imagine they're also incredibly hard to Google because if you type James Bond in on Google, you get, you get all these other um, kind of results about James Bond 007 or the other James Bond. Um, but we kind of slowly found them and eventually people started coming to us. Um, a big one that happened in this country was a, a guy in Indiana called James Bond was arrested for murder. Wow. Um, and of course that came across our desk. <laughs> Somehow, and we contacted him in prison and said, you know, hey, we're coming from the media, probably not with the angle you're expecting, uh -huh. but would you let us talk to you? And he said, sure, come, <laughs> come speak to me. Um, yeah. I'm just wondering what's next. Michael Jordan, maybe, or? No, absolutely. There is no <laughs> name like James Bond. Right. All these other names, you know, you could not make this film about Luke Skywalker's or Indiana Jones. <laughs> James Bond mm -hmm. is, you know, a men's lifestyle brand and specifically speaks to difficulty when you're a real man with this name. You know, I had to ask my producer Santos of this show, who's your favorite James Bond? He says Pierce Brosnan. If you were to ask me, I'd go Sean Connery. What about you? Do you have a favorite? Uh, Roger Moore, de de definitely Roger Moore. I think, I think as with anything, your first is always your favorite. And for me, it started with Roger Moore, so always will be. Well, we are so excited that you came in and talked to us. Thank you so much. The other fellow, everybody, will be playing tomorrow at 5.30 and again on Wednesday at 4.30 at Galaxy Theater. Thank you for joining us. No more Bond jokes for the rest of the show. I promise you all that, okay? Thank you very much, <laughs> Britta. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us.